Tim. Uh, today I'm going to make some repairs on something that's been long overdue at my house. So this, this contraption right here I built when I was out of town and when I needed to pack up it wouldn't fit in the bed of my truck so I cut it in half. So now I'm going to add a swivel and this contraption is it goes in the, the receiver of your truck. I just never drilled holes to, to leave it pinned in there but it slides in the receiver and then this part would actually go out the other way so it looks like a great big Z and you can uh, add a winch on the side like a hand crank boat winch style winch and you can pick items up I used it for uh, trapping and uh, that's where I would would uh, skin my animals out but the premise of this is I'm gonna add, be adding a swivel onto it so now I'll be able to crank stuff up that's heavy and be able to rotate it over into the truck and then I'll be able to push it into the truck so it'll be a, a, a dual purpose item so let's see what we can get done here today all right as always I have my face shield I have gloves I have safety glasses you just gotta protect yourself so the first thing I have to do is cut a couple chunks of this small channel to fit inside of that square tubing because I don't have a piece of pipe that's big enough to fit the inner diameter right here. So I'm going to shim it by cutting two pieces of this small channel should fit in there with this piece of pipe that I have. Uh, we'll see. So the first thing you got to do is lay out some lines. All right. Clean that off. Catch our square. Set our helmet down. Let's lay out a couple lines here. And it doesn't have to be exactly precise. But thereabouts, right? So I'm going to cut these six inches, I'm going to have a six inch tongue sticking out and a six inch tongue protruding into the top piece. Right, so we're done with that. I also have these washers that I found and I wish they weren't galvanized because where they had the galvanized wire to hold them while they were getting galvanized it protrudes in there. So I had to grind it away. but. It fits pretty close. I mean, I can't complain. There's a little bit of slop in there. But I think once the two pieces are there and this is in sandwich, it'll be tight. There's only one way to find out. So let's do a couple test cuts. We'll fit one, see if this is even going to work. Okay, so with this one, I drilled a hole about four inches down. That way I can at least somehow weld this when it's inside. I've wrapped some tape on the here. You can see I got my washers tacked. There is some little bits of weld that's tall of the washer. That makes it fit fairly snug. So we're going to end up something about like that. And then if I find the washer that I already ground on, I'll be able to tap those down just a little bit, weld there, weld through these holes on either side, and cap it off for a smooth bearing surface. And then the other side, the other one, I'll just have to have these plates, the channels in there. It looks like it'll move around just fine. Maybe put a little grease in there. Okay. Alright, so it looks like it fits pretty good. I just have some electrical tape holding the halves around the piece of pipe. But I can spin this piece of pipe. I have a little my hole here so I can weld the channel from the inside 
while it actually has a piece of pipe in there and then that's recessed a little bit here so when I make my weld that I'll be able to still put that big washer. Okay, so I cleaned up the one side here. I shined it all up, got the galvanized off of it, most of it anyway. I've got my electrical tape to hold it in place. We'll just set it there for now because this is going to be the bottom that's just going to end up looking like so. But we got to make sure we're lined up that this is going to fit in there. So, and we want it to be pretty square. So I think the first thing we're going to do. We're going to kind of just look, and you'll be able to get it pretty close with an eyeball. We'll take our weld machine, we'll give us a tack on this high spot. Alright, so we got at least four tacks on there, we'll pull that off. And might as well weld it flat and easy instead of overhead but our nice pipe fits down in here there's the slightest bit of wiggle but not so much I think it's gonna work out really good I guess the truth will come when we get the other the top portion all right so we're just gonna finish welding this and take it from there Okay, so it's going to be pretty much the same process for this side, except this side has the, the male end on it. I'm going to find my high corner. I'm going to attack it. I opted not to do the channels on the inside. I actually cut the stub off. It's welded pretty good to the other side of this washer. I don't think it's got enough wiggle room to break off, so I might end up putting a couple tacks there and, and grinding them off. We'll see. Alright, so we got it done today. We built a new joint in here. It's nice and tight. It swivels nice and loud, but a little grease in there and it'll be smooth as butter. So this thing is strong enough. This joint that was built is strong enough that I can swing off of it. There's more play down in the receiver than in this joint. And then the best part is that I can lower my tailgate now. It's out of the way. Oh, it's so loud. I could swing this around and load heavy objects right into the bed of my truck. So, if this is something that you uh, helped you out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we're going to see you next week.